The Police Athletic League of Philadelphia is working hard to keep kids active and off the streets. And in this week's Focusing on the Future, CBS News Philadelphia's Wakisha Bailey sits down with a former PAL kid who is now working at the same center that kept him safe. As I got older, I started seeing the neighborhoods decline, people dying, the drugs and stuff, and I also knew that I don't want to I don't want to be a product of my environment. When you're thinking of what Pell was to you as a kid, do you think that it really inspired you to do different? Absolutely. Pell, for me as a kid, it was like a super safe haven. Munir Williams grew up just down the street from the Ford Pell Center in southwest Philadelphia, operated and ran by the Police Athletic League. This is also where he met Officer Joe Ellerby. People kind of think cops that we like robots. No, we human beings too. And these kids are human beings. Officer Joe has served the community for more than 30 years. And just like most PAL officers, he believes these children are more than wreck kids. We all in the same fight is to make it out of here and to make sure that our kids have the right tools to be successful in this world. On the other side of Philadelphia, inside the Harrogate PAL Center, we were just in time for a friendly game. Of Connect Four. All right, I love my chances. Who's first? Me. Come on, hey. go. PAL officer and director Angel Gonzalez says he was also at one time a PAL kid who wanted to go into law enforcement at a young age. No way he's a police officer. Like police officers don't dress like that. They don't act like that. So it kind of attracted me to want to know more. So I was like, oh, I can do that. That's with the help of his colleague, Officer Jessica Martinez. Once our kids are done from our homework room space over there, we end up, we have a computer room for them that allows them to do any research or even just free time. With over a dozen centers, Martinez and Gonzalez hope more families would take advantage of the free programs PAL offers. We take them to golf, we take them to parks, we take them to football programs because it's free programming throughout the city. If it's not good enough for my kids, it's not good enough for them, right? That, that's been my motto. PAL officers are dedicated to ending the violence on the streets of Philadelphia, and they're inspiring the next generation, like 20 year old Munez, to do the same who went from being a PAL kid to now an athletic director. It's not really like a job because I love it. What's next for you? What's next? So, might you want to be an officer? I, I have been actually thinking about <laughs> that a lot. We definitely have been talking about a position for me here and you know me pro possibly taking over and oh taking over this center po possibly i don't know <laughs> well keisha bailey cbs news philadelphia